Hi guys, I'm here with your vlog. Just drying my hair, I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair in two different shampoos. My favorite shampoo, of course, and then I used a, it's drying really good, and I used a, um, after I used my favorite shampoo, I used the, I don't know what brand that is, but it's generic, some kind of generic shampoo and conditioner for dandruff, and it smells like almonds and stuff, it smells really good. But I washed it with two different shampoos, that's what I did last time too, but mom said when I went for my MRI, I had a lot of dandruff. And I used the dandruff shampoo with my other shampoo last time. So that really upset me. Because I didn't think I had a dandruff problem. But apparently I do. So I used the dandruff shampoo. Dandruff shampoo again. Sorry. So, uh... Yeah. So hopefully my dandruff will be under control now. Um, it's just, sorry, that was just my stomach, it's, ugh. last night I was so, so sick, oh my god, I thought I was going to die. I've been throwing up every day, and last night was so horrible, so horrible, I didn't think it was ever going to stop, the trash bag was getting so full and so heavy, I could hardly hold it anymore, I mean, Oh, man. It really weighed the trash can, can down when I threw it in there, you know. And my voice was so hoarse when I got done. Like I said, it lasted for a long time. My voice was so hoarse and oh, sweat was pouring off my head and my face and my back and everything everywhere else, my legs, my back, my stomach, my arms, my hands, everything else was cold and sweaty and clammy. I had to go lay down immediately after I got done, but I threw up all my nighttime medicine so I couldn't sleep because I was afraid to take any more in case any of it might have stayed down, but I, I know it didn't. But I was afraid to take any more, so I didn't get any sleep at all last night, so I'm like really tired. And sure miss too, because with me being sick all night, he didn't get much sleep either. But I just wanted to update you guys real quick on my MRI and my surgeon appointment. Like I told you guys I would. Um, they both went really, really good. Yep, they both went really good. Um, the MRI went great. I fit in the machine. They didn't have the TV thing like some of you guys was telling me about because um, they have those at the bigger hospitals around here like in Columbus and Cincinnati. They don't have them here where we are. So they just gave me headphones with music, but that was fine. I mean, and they got the IV in first try. Lasted probably 30 to 40 minutes, but it was not bad at all. Um, Lot, a lot more worry than it was getting it done so no problem there that went great and today I had my appointment with my surgeon and she came in and was all happy and thanking me for going through with getting the MRI and telling me that it's nothing to worry about that we are good to go that it's not cancer it's not anything harmful that it is just a that it is just a, uh, sorry, Jimmy just messaged me. They might be coming here tomorrow. I gotta, I'll check at when I'm done. And, um, what was I saying? Oh, it's just a fatty li lipoma, lymphoma. You know what I mean, like a fatty tumor, whatever it's called. And it's just like, she said it's pretty good size, but it's just pretty much like a big mass, a big ball of fat on my and coming out of my liver but it's nothing that's going to uh, harm me she said so I don't even got to go back to have any further testing like every six months or every year or anything anymore I don't got to have nothing done to it she said we're done we don't got to do nothing else except she 
was concerned about my stomach and the rest of my stomach and wanted to send me to a new to another stomach doctor for my gastroparesis but after I told her the medicine, all the medicine that I was on she told me that that's all they could give me and I said I know because <laughs> I already had a stomach doctor and but he he worked here and he left and went to the VA and he told me there was nothing more they could do so I mean there was no point in making another appointment but she said if I ever want to talk to the new one anyway and because she said just to call and they would set me up with them but I said okay but I'm not interested in it right now because I don't want to go there for no good reason just for them to tell me well you're already on everything that we can give you there's nothing else that we can do for it but all they do is try to treat it with the medicine and my family doctor prescribes it all for me now since my um, stomach doctor went to the VA so no need to get one of those so I'm doing I'm doing fine um, so that is my updates oh and I got I got weighed after I asked to get weighed and I did lose a little bit more weight so I'm really happy about that I lost a little bit more weight so that is my updates for my MRI and my surgeon appointment and my weight update so I hope you guys have a great weekend hi Sherm Sherm's coming in. I hope you I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I'm going to go check Jimmy's message. And I love you guys. God bless.